ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन टू वेरी 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 स्वीट ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स यस योर वेरी वेरी स्वीट ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स और ओनली स्वीट ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स यू कैन आस्क फ्रॉम योर हार्ट एवरी डे सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाबा एट अमृत वेला we all after coming to sweet baba realize that we need to become as sweet as baba those who are agree with this just do like this yes as sweet as baba no tol put was the expression in today's murli because none of us could stay here unless baba has given so much love from the heart and baba is able to give us love because baba is ocean of sweetness he is supreme father of course but his sweetness has helped us to remain close and close always closer to him so question is how much after coming to baba we have been able to or we have received success using knowledge in building up good relationships better relationships appropriate relationships relationship is the aspect which begins from the moment soul descends from param dham the very first few seconds or few minutes we enter in the body we are called child or daughter the son or daughter of king or queen prince or princess so relationship begins whole world drama is the drama of relationship of souls with the matter and souls with other souls so today just few things very good things in connection with relationships between the souls and particularly when we speak about our relationships with brahman family and the basis of this of course is how much we are able to relate properly with baba how much close we are to baba so thoughts which were coming in my mind was to divide this topic spiritual skills for better relationships into two parts first is to know we know it we hear every day from babas murli what are the tools for establishing good relationship tools which we have been given without which we can't even think that we could be in good terms with someone and you all know very well what do you think what are those tools for good relationships and if we use them on the basis of some spiritual skills we can go ahead what do you think what are those tools love and what about all other 35 virtues all virtues yes i think that all virtues are the tools but love is foundation so we have got virtues from baba number 1 number 2 we have got powers from baba third thing power of thoughts creating thoughts which kind of thought that is a skill but tool thought itself is a tool for establishing relationship good or bad but this is a tool so these three things if used very wisely and nicely according to knowledge it is very much possible that even spoiled relationships can be reformed easily and amongst all virtues there are two basic virtues which from time to time we experience in our life 
had been helping us a lot whenever question came of good relationship with someone and similarly when we speak of powers out of all powers eight powers two particular powers had been helping if not all maybe majority of us sitting here know how much these two powers help so first virtue as some of you were telling love love is the ingredient which makes relationship healthy it's that tool if it is used every day you know part of our life when we meet someone or act interact no matter juniors seniors equals you know, lot of success can be had in our life and second virtue which we observe is cooperation sahayog so how these two tools combined with skills we had been using or we can use for get, having guarantee of good relationship so first thing which we had been feeling all of us on the basis of knowledge is that our belief that love is the greatest virtue to be used and to be experimented with in our relationships than any other things in the world there are physical tools also you know money gifts or other kinds of things which help other people to believe that you know you are a good person but all these things don't work if you are not having love from the heart for others so from where we should create such love for each and every soul whom we meet or with whom we live or work so that there is no challenge in relationship so sitting here just this small exercise if we all do that try to remember the people who are in your relation or connection closer than others not just friends but in relations day to day relations maybe 10 persons 20 person so do i have enough love enough love that i can feel guarantee for myself that these relationships will be life long relationship enough love and love for other souls can be felt can be created easily if i have love enough love for the father of all souls father of humanity and here then gets involved that important skill that instead of doing the labor of feelings love separately for each and every human soul just simple thing is that develop love full love complete love full fledged love for the seed father of the tree of humanity it is called as watering the seed instead of watering every leaf no watering the plants and the all other things in the garden this is also a skill art you have water but if you don't know when to water the plants you know generally they say that you should water the plants early in the morning before sun has come so that they have opportunity to absorb and remain wet for enough time so similarly to have love for seed of humanity 
really help us to see each and every one as eternal child of that sweet father. And then no matter whatever kind of person at this moment is in front of me, but I am able to see whose child is this, whose child, who is this, no. At this moment, the identity of the soul is not able to make me to feel love, but whose child is this? Isn't it? When we all came to Baba here in Madhuban for the first time, were we like that, that anyone could love us and gave us totally so many times and cook food for us and clean rooms for us? Were we like that? Now maybe we have, we are becoming pure and pure. But when we came to Baba in the beginning, we were not like that. But we were given lot of sustenance with love by Baba's children here. And we are being given every day. Why? Why? Because the souls who give sustenance, they see us not necessarily always in our present form. What we are at the moment, we are not yet complete enough. But they see whose children they are. Isn't it? That is why we get food every day. Otherwise, next day they will say, Oh, no one cleaned the utensils yesterday, so we are not able to give you food today. No. Whether we do anything or not, cooperate or not, but people are constantly giving us love and only love here. So this is one thing. And second thing, the basis of experiencing love for other human souls is to be able to always see that speciality which every soul has according to drama. This is the greatest truth. All souls are light. There is no dark soul or black souls. Stars are the stars of light, twinkling stars. Light may be a little lesser in comparison to one another. But each and every soul has some speciality. So to remember that even at the moment when that speciality is not expressed in the life or behavior of that person all the time. Many other things which Baba sometimes says as omens or spots, black spots, they are more visible than that speciality. But still, to focus at that one particular speciality is which help us to love sincerely, not theoretically, not superficially. Oh yes, Baba says we have to love everyone, so I love this soul. No. We can make it very sure that if we don't work enough to make our heart love to the people, to the children of God, deeply and with true feelings, our journey of life is going to be full of obstacles and hardship. Second thing, which had, which second virtue, another virtue, and with love, many other things get connected automatically, because if you have love, 
you will feel concern you will have mercy compassion you will try to forgive from time to time small small things you will just ignore second thing is cooperation saha yog in my relationships day to day relationships or time to time whenever we meet with the people our will wish to cooperate is something which reaches to the mind and the heart of another person before i express it that yes i am available i am the one who will be with you i am the one who possibly will be of some use to you at the time when you need is that feeling which reaches before i say that can i cooperate can i help you can i ask what do you need so this virtue of cooperation comes in action with first when i have the feeling of self sufficiency i have enough i have enough and i have more than enough i am beggar of course if you start checking how much i have what is my bank balance i have nothing zero bank balance there is no bank where i have any balance because there is no balance but i have enough and what is that enough and more than enough which i have you can have all the things in the world but if you don't have that you have nothing but if you have that one thing and no other thing in the world you have more than enough what is that what is that contentment but out of which this experience of contentment comes having what contentment is the feeling not that i have nothing but i ha- i'm contented no after getting what we become really contented i have nothing and i say i'm contented it's imaginary con- contentment no but contentment is real feeling god prabhu ishwar right, is the highest attainment and i have him he is mine that's why i am here isn't it i am here not as a tourist i am here as child of god god is greatest attainment and i know who is he i know where he is i know he is mine and i know i am i belong to him is enough he is ever truth permanent i don't need to exercise my intellect much to understand him because he is very very clear because he is stable we have spent 5000 years with more than 6 billion souls in this world and we couldn't understand them we always say we are trying to understand each other you know 20 years we are living with one another but we are trying to understand each other and god just one meeting just one look and i know who is he isn't it so that feeling of having god as my greatest attainment 
gives me the feeling of sufficiency, spiritual sufficiency, which at the time of need become physical support as well. It can be converted into, it can be encashed into physical attainment also. None of us should think having Baba is theoretical attainment. No. Or it is just a check. It is a check which at the time of need you can encash and get whatever you want. Catching? Understanding? Yes? It's a check at the time of any kind of need, sickness or bad relationship or some obstacles in our life, no matter whatever happen, but he will become my practical support, tangible support, which I will feel that, yes, Baba did that. So this experience helps me to use my virtue of cooperation with others. Millions in the world don't have Baba with them. I have Baba with me. So my position is always the position of donor because they don't have anything to give and I have Baba with me. So these two virtues are one of the assets for better relationship, how that we will see. And then two powers. One of them is power to merge. Samane ki shakti or power to adjust, accommodate. If we want that relationships continue for the whole life, we have to accommodate and merge the differences. These days, you know, we feel freedom in speaking about how much differently I am or how much differently I think than other person. We are different. We may think, you know, colors are variety and red color is good, green color is good. We may have different kinds of opinions, but we should not make these differences issues which we spread here and there. If something we didn't like, in someone's behavior, particularly personally for me, we need the power to merge. Merge through into the ocean of love. Because by speaking, we make the things come true. We make them permanent. Maybe difference was not so big. The behavior of other person was not so bad. I felt bad, of course. But by speaking about it again and again in front of others, I multiplied it. And I finally fixed this for me that in future, Relationships are going to be much better instead of becoming much better. So, the law in the relationships that never, never I think of sitting and defaming anyone because of something wrong that person did with me is something which is realized through spiritual wisdom.
defamation out of what bad feeling I had from other person would make me to win at that moment would make me to feel that okay I could you know not if even if revenge but okay this one did that and I did that I am right in doing so but relationships for a long time even if not for whole life but for a long time will definitely become bitter and instead if you merge okay and what is the reason for accommodating that why should I merge if other person misbehaved or did wrong with me why should I merge do you have any reason which can appeal the heart yes this person was supposed to do like that but didn't do instead did that but I must merge it I should merge it why do you have any reason okay sister is speaking in Russian that he has such role it means some person has role of doing good behavior bad behavior and I have to al always tolerate like this does this appeal you <laughs> one day I will become tired why I why I was chosen in the drama for such anyone has any better reason yes yes ah you all want to speak in Russian <laughs> okay he's saying that he's God's child you know so God's child has right to do whatever he wants very wonderful how can God's child do like that that is the most you know thing which is hurting me if someone else would have done such I could understand but if God's child does like this with me it is horrible okay so here Baba has shown us this example from the time we have come and met him throughout our Brahman life what not we had been doing was all that according to Shrimat all the time yes it was not according to Shrimat all the time it was not according to Baba's directions and if Baba loves us and says us to do something and we don't do that that is good behavior or bad behavior bad so we had been so bad with Baba but what Baba did Baba keeps loving us keeps loving us never shows to others that child sitting in this front row had been very wrong with me in the second row was like that never and never from the morning till evening Baba has television in which he sees us yes he sees everything he can see Dadiji when also became the resident of subtle religion for some time she also was shocked to see Baba does Brahman do like that and if she would be made to reveal that again it will be very bad behavior from our side but Baba Dadi they are loving and loving and loving so they see from subtle region and we see in corporeal world these things but seeing 
and ignoring, not seeing, whatever can become something which is bad for our relationship, that is called the power to merge, power to accommodate and keep our surface of the heart, our feelings clean for other person. That even next moment after such kind of behavior, my face and my drishti is completely clean. Because I merged that difference. Yes, there are certain aspects in which you are supposed to give teachings as senior, so you need to know where something wrong is going on, but that also playing the role and finishing. Not keeping the wrong things done by others or defects of others in our heart and making part of all those things part of our drishti. Second power which had been helping a lot to all of us is the power, another power complementary to the power to accommodate merge is power to tolerate. Tolerate not as victim, but the power to tolerate means, as yesterday, you know, there was the topic of the class becoming goddess of tolerance, image of tolerance. Generally, in our relationships, when people are getting more than us or better than us, then what happens or what can happen? All of us want to have good attainments, better attainments. The question may come, why always this one? Why not I? So to be able to be happy, as much as happy at the time of success, for others, as much I would have been in my own case. That is an example of power to tolerate. To be able to remain happy and enjoy when others are getting name and some position. As much as happy as I would have been when I could get for myself. That's also example of having becoming the image of tolerance. So these two powers and these two virtues as tools used wisely with some spiritual skills help us to build lifelong relationships, but what are those skills now? So one of the important skill is to use these virtues and power in the right quantity, at the right time, in a right way. This is a skill. As ingredients, if you are making the recipe for good relationship, you put more love than cooperation. Then things may happen otherwise, may go wrong. At what time you have to love, at what time you have to merge, in what way your love should be expressed, this is skill. So for that, Baba has told, 
very nicely that children, your face should express love and cooperation are not the ingredients to be given through words. If you start speaking in words, I love you, I love you very much. Another person you meet, you say, I love you very much. What will happen? People will laugh. Isn't it? They say, what has happened to her? So love is not the thing to be spoken in words. We have to wear it. We have to become embodiment of love. Sun does not keep speaking, I am fire, I am fire, I am fire. But sun gives fire. Sun is the embodiment of fire. Similarly, love in drishti and feeling of benevolence on the face that I cannot do harm to anyone. I will not do harm to anyone at any cost. I don't want to do harm to anyone. I should not harm anyone. That's the feeling of benevolence. And on the face. So that I don't have to convince the people with whom I live, with whom I work, saying again and again, you believe me, I didn't want to do harm to you, you believe me, I wanted only good for you, you believe me. What to believe? If it is visible, if it is there, I will not need to speak of it. Agree? Yes? So love and feeling of benevolence, to wear it on the face is a skill. As when someone has to go to the mountain area, he has to exercise his body, he has to learn how to exist with low oxygen from time to time. He has to train himself for extremes of the weather conditions. Similarly, to have relationships in which there is harmony is climbing like climbing to mountain. Himalaya, highest mountain is Himalaya or is there any other highest also? Any more high, higher than Himalaya? No? Himalaya. So, for this, that is why Baba says, if the situation is even higher than mountain Himalaya, still don't think of bad of that person. There is no mountain higher than Himalaya, but situations can be higher than Himalaya. Sometimes we think like that. But still Baba says, no, you should not even have the desire or any thought that something wrong I should do for this person. Feeling of love. And this skill to wear these two qualities comes from the internal belief in justice, faith that God is there for everything. And my task is to become visible example of his teachings. Rest all will be accomplished by His grace. He has just requested me for 
my sake, just for one birth, don't use any other tools of Ravan. Ravan has given us hate instead of love. Ravan has given us separation, the feeling of, you know, breaking and divorcing and going apart and fragmentation instead of cooperation, loneliness. These are tools of Ravan. And Baba has requested that in my plan, it is the time to finish Iron Age. Can you help me? to stop buying anything from Ravan's shop and use my tool, my sweet children. And we say, yes, Baba. But when some situations come, we say, no, Baba. When situations disappear, we say, yes, Baba. Situations come again, we say, no, Baba. Then, Baba cannot guarantee us if we are permanent client of Baba, permanent, Baba knows they will use only my items, only love. Today love, tomorrow love and day after tomorrow love. Baba knows it. Then, whatever things which we think cannot be done with love, Baba will do himself. Everything can be done with love, but we think some things cannot be done with love, isn't it? How many of you think like that? <laughs> now no one will raise hand. Yes? In fact, everything can be done with love. But are we loving all the time? No. Sometimes we use other tools. But if we believe and use this tool, then rest of the task will be accomplished by Baba. So to remain comfortable with these feelings is a skill. Why? No, not everyone is able to wear the dress which cosmonaut they wear, you know, they want to remain in civil clothes because that's comfortable. But wearing that costume like an alpinist or like cosmonaut and then for a long time doing that journey is skill. You need ability for that. So Brahma, Kumar and Kumari who all hours of the day, all days of the week and all months of the year are very comfortable with love and feelings of benevolence. And they are able to do the effective tasks in relationship through that. They are not just lovers, but they are actors also. Love in words is called just being lovers, but we are word benefactors also. Clear? So we are not just supposed to love, but we are supposed to bring benefit also. And that is possible when we combine these two feelings and use them constantly and rest we live on Baba. We are able to see the wonderful results in our relationship. Then another skill, second skill, which is needed when relationships have spoiled, you know. You can check, you know which kind of relationship at the moment is which I would like to improve with whom. Or even if it is not spoiled, but it's not so good relationship. Whether it is senior or junior or equal, or sometimes the feeling is that 
I don't know why this person is never happy to see me. Do you have anyone, some like that, who is never happy to see you? How many of you are like, I will not tell to Dadi, you can show me the hand. Hmm? So many. You all have someone who is not happy to see you. Really? Very good. <laughs> Congratulations. So it means this spiritual skill will be of great use to you. Or there is someone, I feel that, I don't know, I have not done any harm to this one, but what this person wants from me? I have not done any harm. So here, in such situations, Baba has told us that don't try, don't take, do the risk of opening the sack of old karmas. Some or other things which we have done any time in our life are to be settled. And how they will be settled? They will be settled either through sickness or through relationships. So if there is anyone or the one who is never happy to see me or, you know, I am not able to understand what this person wants from me, for such relationships we have to be through and throughout humble, accept, not revolt, not face them, never. Accept, understand that if you have not done anything to provoke other person or to tune that person to that kind of particular behavior, it means some another factor is working which is beyond the control of this person. And, and that button or that factor was created by me sometime. So, the skill again is the same, going beyond the visible reality and going to that remote reality. It is reality, this person is tuned to me like that, but even more reality than this is in remote past something was done and so humble and don't try to protest any such kind of behavior from other person by making it real today. It is just, you know, a mirage of the past, you know, sometime it happened. It's f and now it seems to be like that this person is bad, no. And this skill to be able to remain humble, you know, in circus people are able to move on the rope with just, you know, very small rope and they are able to walk on the rope. This is a skill. But not necessarily the same people can remain humble. So to remain humble amidst the situation which challenges my self-respect, which provoke me to Prove me that I am right and this is wrong will bring me victory in relationships. Twice, thrice, six months, one year. How many years the karmic account will continue? Not whole life. It's in my hand. As soon as I 
accept it as soon as I finish it through my humbleness, person will transform. It's a guarantee. There was a brother long ago in one of the center of Delhi and he was senior most brother coming from the home for study and he was in knowledge from the time of Sakar Baba but his wife couldn't accept knowledge due to certain good reasons and he was in trouble due to that and from time to time whenever he would visit Madhuban he would speak about this to Baba because wife was no, he used, she used to create trouble for him. So once I was in that group, six, four person, six, seven person from that center, they came in front of Baba for meeting, and then as he was senior most, so he was standing in the center, we were by the side, and his face was absolutely, you know, sorrowful and full of worry, and Baba does not like this. So Baba asked, child, are you happy? He said, Baba, my yugal does not accept knowledge. Baba said, you know how Baba smiles, child, explain her. Baba said, child, explain her. Then he said, Baba, 21 years I am explaining her. 21 years and I also didn't know it's happening so long with him and then again Baba smiled and said, child, explain more. <laughs> he said, 21 years I'm explaining. He said, explain more. Baba cannot say that since you are not moving rightly in knowledge, your wife is not accepting. Baba cannot say that. But what Baba says, explain more. So people are able to accept when we say, if we ourselves use that, isn't it? So therefore, our relationships definitely would become better if they have spoiled in such cases through and throughout when we are humble. And humbleness here does not mean that uh, they are allowed to do anything with me, but it means attitude of gratitude for God. O oh, Baba, thanks a lot that you have given me this way to keep my head normal, standard-wise. Otherwise, I would have been having much more ego, which would not be fit enough for my yogi life. So through this relationship, I am able to see how I should behave. Because if people are praising you always and people are saying you are so good, what will happen with your head? Size of head will become bigger. Then you, how would you look like? So 80% says you, you are so good, your head goes high and 20% hammer you. They flatten your head, flatten your ego. Normal. Good ratio, 80-20. Baba has told 95-5. Let 5% be there. Let them f do this job. Yeah, it's
सुकर्मों के बलकार भी सतयुग में तुमको आना है शिव पिता को अब याद करो third spiritual skill which also need the use of love cooperation power of merchants and tolerances our understanding of the law of that giving is receiving you can see your relationship from the childhood even when we were not in knowledge and now we are in knowledge only those relationships or those moments were best in your relationships when you were giving when you had giving attitude so attitude of gratitude if someone has done something for me even little an attitude of giving because many of us maybe they have done such kind of mistake sometime or another that they create such image in their intellect for themselves i am junior so senior must do this for me or must understand me or i am senior so junior this one is junior this one must behave like that or i am a teacher so students must do like that or i am student so teacher has to behave only like this with me so maybe not very rigid but we seem to act from those beliefs that i am student i am teacher i am junior i am senior but who am i in reality who am i 
I am a twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sweet child of God. Any other introduction, if it get fix, very quick fix in your intellect, that would become a noise in the relationship. Relationships will not be soundless that your neighbours will know what is happening in your house, other people will know what is happening in your relationship, there will be noise. So thinking that I am women, this is husband, I am wife, I am mother, this is son, they should do like that. Baba has told us that you are going to the deity world and deity's image is always this. Yes? Always deities are shown like this, giving. Do you want to sit like deities for half second, for a few seconds? Just do like that, try. Look nice? Yes? So this is physical image, yes? Physical image. When Baba comes, what Baba does this? Have you seen Baba doing like this? So Baba does not give anything through physical hand, but Baba shows the mental attitude. Let you get what you want. Let you all get what you need. And this, do like this now. If someone is doing like this before you, then what does it mean? I will see how you get. Isn't it? So who are we? Devta or demon or Levta? This means you must give me. You must give me. This is... I am always giving and, and Baba says, let you get, let, we can't do like this, isn't it? We don't have so much for all that, okay, we give blessing. But yes, we can be the image of giving. That I am not expecting anything, this much I can do. Yes? China sisters? Yes. So we can do, then this attitude of giving will create magic in the mind of others. People will not be afraid in bringing me close to them because they will feel this one does not want anything from me. You are kept at distance if you are demanding. And particularly demanding in front of those who are eternal givers and donors. Yes, in Brahman family, everyone wants to give something. Baba is eternal donor. And if we just keep talking to Baba, Baba do this, Baba do that, Baba you are not doing this, No. So, once for all, we have to make our mind that I have enough, I have Baba with me, and I take inside this projection of the expectation from anyone. Whether I am with juniors or seniors, or I am with students or teachers, I have to see, I have to find what I am supposed to do, what I can do, what I can give. If sometime I was not able to understand that I have to do this, but I was supposed to do that, I have to feel, be ready to feel sorry also about that. But a constant attitude of giving, giving, giving to the souls who are in knowledge, to the souls who are not in knowledge, 
giving the donation of understanding, giving the donation of mercy, giving compassion. Whatever I am supposed to do at any moment, I have to do. Because it's I am the one who is going to the DT world. And then what will happen? We will have the family, like, you know, five Pandavas, more family, bigger family, bigger family. We will be able to create unlimited family around us. And if I have the attitude of expectation or revolt, even my own relatives, which, who are my relatives in blood relationship, they will also leave me. Don't even talk of Brahmins, don't even talk of God's children. Yes? So these are certain important aspects which work very nicely for in relationships all the time and all of us had been using it but from this time after coming in Madhuban should make us to underline more and more that newness and this betterment in our relationships will reveal Baba because only on the basis of knowledge and wisdom given by Baba we are able to do that. None else can teach these skills. No one can even dare to speak this, even as theory or concept that keep giving. This will never fit in their mind. But Baba has given it as, not as con concept, but as truth, has shown us the way, has shown us example, and is giving us power to do that. Om Shanti. Thank you very much for your attention. Any question you have? Yes. Okay, you will speak in Hindi? In Spanish? Okay. Okay, let's have two questions. Yes, Mike is coming. He will on. Just wait. Okay. All right. Om Shanti. Um, I just wonder because I we always hear and thank you for your beautiful mm -hmm. class and uh, always giving us so much, uh, Sister Santosh. Mm -hmm. um, I usually I understand everything what you say and I've gone through all the things that you've said and sometimes still going through some of those also, no? Um, but I, I would like to know, because there is a time when uh, you have to do when somebody is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I understand what I feel is that you first, uh, you feel the love, mm -hmm. You feel the will to give cooperation, and then you correct if it's your role to correct. So I would like a little um, more on that. What you do? What is your experience with that? Okay. Thank you. Any other question? No question. All have very good relationships. Yes? <laughs> no, but every day we are listening so many teachings, so they keep answering our question. So is question clear? Hmm? Yes? I will repeat the question so that you understand that I have understood you. Yes? That sometime someone else is supposed to do something but is not doing that. And if I do that, that person will not be happy. Yes? No. Then? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. 
what you have to do. Here, little bit, it comes the question of really feeling your position. If you are in a position of, you know, some or another kind of junior, means you are a student, another one is teacher, yes? And uh, the teacher has the feeling that, you know, you can't say me anything. Or the student sees that something is going wrong, like that. Or in your logic relationships, when some daughter is not doing something good, you as a mother have to do. In any case, correction is the bittermost tablet in the world. Yes? So Baba says, you have to check that it is well sugar-coated, first of all. Sugar-coated is that till throat it should not be felt that it is bitter. Till throat sugar should be felt. Only going inside its bitter effect would become clear. Means, yes, we have to correct, we have to tell something, but with full feeling of benevolence. It works. We have many experiences like that. And in every day we see Dadi Janki, she openly gives all kinds of correction, but you know, we feel them so good, so useful, because uh, there is the feeling of benevolence and complete love. We have to reach to that stage. Even if today someone feels that whenever I say something right thing, that person rejects. And it is because I have not become yet complete with that much love or benevolence. That should be our aim. We will be accepted and a time may come that when our just good wishes will do the work of correcting others. Our feelings will help others to correct whatever wrong is happening with them. We have to reach to that stage. We have to reach to that stage. Through our presence, we are able to create the atmosphere of that things should happen in that way. Okay? Did I answer? Because if comes the question of giving experiences, there are many and they become more personalized. But in all the cases, you are accepted when you are through and throughout positive. Through and throughout. From heart, from drishti, from face, from words, and so on. No desire to show anyone down. That is most important thing for relationships. Okay, that's it. So now, whole this group will be able to show the wonder once we return from Madhuban. Okay, good. So let's have a few minutes of powerful remembrance and then most welcome for your lunch.